that's the symptoms. It's uh, bogging down. Uh, trying to trying to go full full squeeze there. Just bogs right down. It idles, runs good until you go to blow full blast. That's the symptoms. That's what the customer said, and I just verified that. So this is an easy fix. I'll show you uh, how easy this is. Hey, John here again. So when it comes to these little little two-stroke carburetors, this is an Echo leaf blower, but it really doesn't matter. You know, a hedge trimmer, a weed whacker, chainsaw, anything that has uh, these, these little two-stroke uh, carburetors on them, they're really easy to uh, adjust. They get out of adjustment. It's going to get out of adjustment one, you know, sooner or later. But uh, so this is probably just the high speed. And let me let me zoom in a little bit. The the uh, The low speed is always towards your uh, intake, and the high speed is always towards your, you know, outdoors or air filter or whatever kind of machine you got. It's it's pointing away, away from the engine. So I could technically probably just uh, adjust that high speed, and this thing will be fine. But really, uh, like I was saying, any of these two strokes, they're all basically the same. So this this is actually a, a slotted, uh, you know, screwdriver, just a regular standard screw, screwdriver but sometimes they'll have uh, you know you have to have a tool like this it's just a spline tool uh, you know that fits over it and a lot of times they'll be behind plastic shroud or you know behind a door or something you won't be able to see these and but anyways regardless this is a slotted one so it's going to be really easy and it's easy to see uh, I go ahead and turn these down and get in here turn these all the way down you know don't don't crank them but you know until they seat and uh, then I back them off one and a half turns there's a half there's one there's a half same thing with a low speed there's a half there's one there's a half so that alone will get it started and then you tune it from there and these do work in conjunction with each other but uh, I go ahead and set the low speed first uh, I'll take it back outdoors and uh, fired up it should start should run with no problem but we'll see how under a load you know when we hit the idle how it sounds or reacts but uh, then I start with the, the low speed without the throttle just uh, tune it by ear really because these fuel air mix needles you know I don't know you know who cares what the the actual you know parts per fuel to air it is it doesn't matter you're doing it by ear and uh, I tune this to to where it sounds like it's running good then I'll go ahead and move to the high side with the throttle open and uh, tune it from there if it, uh, you, a lot of time, you, you're not going to know which way to go left or right you know uh, when, when it's under a load so if, you, if you're going left and it gets worse then just go the other way you know whether it's in or out really doesn't matter because uh, you're just doing it by ear and I'm sure this, there's nothing wrong with this machine it'll be fine in a couple of seconds but I get a lot of these just out of tune. Uh, you know, this customer said it used to run good, and uh, then it started. Uh, I think he said it was hard starting. I'm not sure on this one, but uh, so. And then uh, when you uh, under a load, it just uh, you know high speed. It just wasn't. He's claiming it wasn't as good as it used to be. <clears throat> and I just ran it out there, and it does bog down. It's not even close to where <laughs> where it should be. But uh, so, anyways. I should have counted the turns when I, when I went in, but it uh, doesn't matter. Set them down, back them off one and a half. Let's go outside and I'll tune it. It's going to be a really easy fix here. Okay, so like I said, the plan is I'm just going to set the low speed first if it need be, and then uh, under, under a load, you know, when it's a wide open, adjust the high speed. Again, the high speed is always towards your air filter outdoors let's call it this is the intake so the low speed would be in here so technically this start this should start but at one and a half turns if there's nothing wrong with this uh, carburetor it should run fine uh, but if it doesn't if it still bogs at a high speed uh, you know under a load uh, we'll go ahead and uh, tweak this left or right we'll go one way first and then the other way just to see uh, you know if it clears up or not this is all by ear but if it runs okay to begin with you know, it, it's probably going to run okay to begin with, but um, even if it does run okay, I'll, I'll I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll move the the needle in and out to show you what uh, what the 
problem was. There's also an uh, idle adjustment. You can go in or out, but I don't really mess with that. You shouldn't really mess with that. Just leave that unless somebody tweak it down. This thing was screaming, but... Uh, so it sounds like it's running okay right now. sound like there's a little bit of bog, way better than it was, but so I'm going to take the high speed, which is outdoors, and uh, I'm going to wide open, and then I'll just turn it just in a little increment so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I said, these uh, these carburetors are on a lot of things, hedge trimmers, uh, I don't know, weed whackers, chainsaws, they're on, a, on a, a whole variety of things, but they always get out of adjustment sooner or later. I don't know if the springs just get loose or, you know, the actual engine starts wearing and you need to do the air fuel mixture again. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's that easy. This thing runs fine now. So, anyways, quick video. Thanks for watching.